so guys today i'm gonna show you a quick recipe for a barbecue chicken that you can leave marinated overnight or you can marinate at least for four hours to get all of the juices in and to let it marinate really really good so here i have five uh, limes which have already i've taken out the juice right here this is the juice of five lime and in here i have put in um just two strands of uh, you can see here two strands of a zafaron we call it in farsi uh, which gives this a really good aroma here i have five green chilies four garlics and the same amount of ginger that i have chopped really really finely so i'm gonna just take this and mix it in there and this lime juice is gonna act as a tenderizer um, if you guys want, you could also add yogurt, but I'm not going to add yogurt this time. I want to try it without the yogurt and see um, how um, it comes out. And so I've put in here the chilies, the ginger, the garlic, the lime juice, and the saffron, two strands of saffron. I'm just going to mix it like this. And then I'm going to take half a tablespoon of turmeric powder. Just mix it in to give us a beautiful color and I'm gonna go ahead and add the same amount of salt so half a tablespoon of salt we don't want to add too much salt because the lime is already really really salt so I had just had this here to show you guys how I put it I just took a spoon and I just squished it all out uh, because lime could be a bit hard to get all of the water out and then here I have my chicken ready so it's five chicken thighs and I just wanted to show you guys that I have scored it a bit just so I can get all the juices in all of the corners. So I've just scored it a bit and then what I'll do is just take a plastic bag, put my chicken in the plastic bag and then add all of this in it and then that way my hands don't get dirty, my hands don't get yellow from the turmeric and then also then I have a really tight seal for when I put it in the fridge. So guys, my sauce is ready and I put my chicken in a plastic bag, make sure it doesn't have a hole. Um, and now I'm going to just pour my juice in here and let it sit in the fridge for at least 4 hours. 12 to 24 hours would be perfect though because then it will really, really get all the juices in the chicken meat. So guys, here we go. I mixed it in. My hands are not dirty and I'm just going to keep it in this in the fridge just in case something pokes it or the water breaks. Um, we don't want the whole fridge getting dirty and then just gonna leave this in the fridge for at least four hours and then get it barbecuing in the oven and then I'll show you guys what I'm gonna be serving it with so guys it's been about four hours that I had left my chicken to marinate in the fridge um, now I'm gonna take it out and you can get styrofoam like this from the dollar store just put a bit of oil in the bottom of the styrofoam about a tablespoon to two tablespoons and then lay your chicken on it and um, go ahead and put it in the oven and then here I have about um, eight potatoes that I have peeled I have cubed and I have just let it sit in this water I'm gonna just take the water out let it um, dry for a bit and then I'm gonna toss this with some garlic chili salt and chili flakes and then serve it beside my chicken um, and I'll be making a special um, savory sweet sauce um, to put on top of my chicken as it's uh, cooking in the oven so I'll show you guys how to make that sauce once I put this in the oven and the potatoes and so guys my chicken has gone in the oven as you can see right here and what I have done with the leftover juice that's right here what I'm gonna do is toss my potatoes in here so I get all that delicious um, seasoning so I don't have to add more seasoning to the potatoes and then add it in a separate um, aluminum foil uh, dish to put in the oven with the chicken and so the key here is to let the chicken cook as slowly as possible so I have the heat on 350 degrees and I'm gonna let it cook slowly for at least an hour in the meantime I'm gonna strain this and get it ready um, to put in the oven and then this is just first baking it and then making it crispy on top by broiling it super easy and I like it to be like really red and barbecued so I'm gonna go ahead and leave it for a bit longer 
and then in the meantime I'm gonna show you guys the sauce that I'll be um, kind of rubbing on top of my chicken once it's ready um, and cooked and so guys here we go so my mixture is ready for my potatoes I just put in a tablespoon of olive oil half a tablespoon of red chilies and then half a tablespoon of cumin powder that you can see right here I'm gonna just mix all of this toss my potatoes in it and then it's ready to go in the oven and I'll see you guys after an hour once um, the chicken is ready to go ahead and put the sauce on it uh, we can make the sauce right now but because we will be using ketchup, uh, we will be using some honey, we will be using some hot sauce, it will get too thick. So I'm going to make that um, rub for the chicken later on once the chicken is actually um, cooked. So see you guys after an hour. You see it's really really charred because everything has fried up so much. So what I'm going to do is now put the sauce on top which I made here which is just um, two tablespoons of ketchup sauce and two tablespoons of this spicy um, sauce and a tablespoon of honey. I just warmed it up and let it sizzle and it's ready. So now I'm gonna just rub it all on top of this and put this back in the oven. Um, so don't mind these things because we're just throwing this away after anyways. That's just the juices that have fried up. And then if you have something to brush it with, it would be the best but since I don't have a brush I'm just gonna use a spoon and try to lather it on as much as possible and my potato is in the oven right now and it's cooking so everything is getting really ready and I'm just so excited to dig down and have this barbecue juicy chicken and uh, yeah for after another 10 minutes it should be done what I wanted to tell you guys is to cook it to your preference I like it this barbecue and charred but if you want it a little less golden brown you can take it out earlier and so far guys I just want to tell you that I haven't even put this on broil this is just on baking I just flipped it from one side to another side after 20 minutes on each side so I just kept doing that and you see how the incisions that I have made have popped up so then I have more space to lather my sauce on now I'm gonna go ahead put this back in the oven check on my potatoes and then um, go ahead and get ready to have a delicious barbecue chicken dinner guys that you can make at home in this quarantine time if you don't have a grill and you can make the sauce with limited items like I did you could use any hot sauce that you have you could use ketchup you could use marinara sauce so those are just some um, things that you can use on the side so I'm gonna go ahead and pop this in the oven on broil and I'll show you guys the final result hey guys so here it is my barbecued potatoes with barbecue charred chicken um so these little charred areas are not burnt that's actually the barbecue sauce that I showed you guys how to make it becomes charred like this or like this but if you don't want it too much then you can um, take it out of broil after like three to four minutes this is the back side so I put it this way to show you guys what it looks like on the inside it just looks really delicious and I had a little piece and it was so mouth watering so I can't wait for you guys to try this um enjoy it and let me know what you think so thank you for following me so far have a great day